Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Fee's Affordable Finds. Uh, just coming at you guys today, um, kind of like doing a where have I been type video. Um, a couple of you guys have inquired and I really, really appreciate the, the fact that you missed me. Um, so I figured I would just make a, a quick video here just kind of explaining things. Um, so I hate to say long story short and then it ends up being like a long story, but um, so I'll, I'll try to just get to it, but um, for those of you that have been uh, following me for a little while, um, I used to put out videos, I, I would say like quite often, probably about two or three times a week. Uh, one of my goals um, with doing YouTube videos was for supplemental income, uh, which is why a lot of people do it. The... The thing that was a little frustrating is that when I when I first started like really really getting into videos, I wasn't getting paid for them, you know, and I know everybody needs to start somewhere, but I wasn't getting paid, so I signed up to to get paid um, per view on my videos. It took about two months to get approved, and uh, finally got approved to start getting paid for my videos. But I kind of noticed a difference uh, in my in my audience and the amount of people who were uh, viewing. And I feel like before I was getting paid, uh, so when my videos were not monetized at all, I felt like I was getting thousands of views. And, and that's really motivating for a person who is you know, just starting out. And I feel like uh, my subscribers were growing really fast, especially after the, the um, reviewing Honeycomb for the first time. I felt like you know, people were subscribing left and right. I was getting thousands of views. On all my videos and then all of a sudden when I got approved to get my videos monetized it seemed like that all kind of came to like a, a standstill which I thought was really really odd because typically it's the same people watching my videos especially if they're subscribed and I don't know I mean I'm trying not to say anything to, to where I'm just kicked off of the a, a YouTube altogether but I kind of feel like once the monetizing came about and I'm like okay great now I can start getting paid for the videos and then plus it would enhance my content um, I'd be able to upload or not upload but update my camera um, everything like I just felt like that would help make this bigger than what it was so nowadays I feel like when I post a video I can't even clear like a thousand views you know, when before, you know, if you look at some of my previous videos, um, like especially the honeycomb one, you know, is in the 600,000 range. Um, my second honeycomb video is close to 100,000 views. And and I mean, things were just going great. And so all, for it to all of a sudden come to a standstill once I'm able to get paid for my videos, I thought it was just a little, a little fishy. So... I don't know exactly what's happening, but I did look at some other YouTubers out there and it has happened to quite a few people out there where they're, it's like their videos are not being exposed or something, or something's blocking it from being seen as much as it was seen before. Um, one thing as well, it, it does take money to, to keep up with, you know, um, going out and buying food because I'm not the one to do you know, like a lot of fast food uh, mukbang videos. Like I wasn't, you know, doing, you know, McDonald's, Burger King, all that, because that's places, you know, we could eat at any time, you know, going through a drive-thru any time of the day. And so I was trying my best to put things out there that weren't so common, um, like my Russian food and my Ethiopian food, you know. And, and that's what I wanted to bring to you guys, like something a little bit more unique and but that costs money you know like those aren't 8.99 meals you know so it's hard to keep up those habits when you're not getting paid to do it and so that kind of i mean that kind of had a, a good amount to do with with why i just kind of in a way lost motivation to do it so i'm definitely working on on building that motivation up again and i'm telling you it's, it's kind of hard because i feel like I was kind of taking advantage of a little bit because uh, I was definitely, you know, getting a lot of views and um, and I just, I don't know what happened. I'm trying my best to be careful with my wording, you know, so um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened. 
So I know that there are um, quite a few of you guys out there who really miss hearing my voice and seeing my face and I, I definitely appreciate that more than you know. So I, I would definitely want to start putting things out there again. Um, it probably can't be often because, you know, like I said, like the stuff that I like to show you guys, it, it's not cheap, you know, and I got other things I gotta pay for, so. Um, yeah, and then and then furthermore, when you're doing these videos, and I can't speak for, for all mukbangers or eating videos, but you kind of have to plan your life around it because when doing a lot of these videos, um, you know, it, it's mostly anytime you eat, it's on camera. So when it's time to go hang out with friends and they want to go eat, you know, I was saying no quite a bit because I'd already eaten for you guys, you know, so I'd use my eating time for you guys and... And then when, you know, friends would want to go eat, I'm like, oh my gosh, I ate already, you know, and I did this big portion meal, so I can't. And it's not like I was doing it every single day, but I felt like it, I really did have to rearrange my life for it. So, but it was my pleasure. You know, I liked it. I liked doing those videos for you. So, anyways, hopefully that kind of answers it. Um, I'm thinking about the weekend here coming up. And I do want to do something because I did add to my hot sauce collection and I definitely wanted to show you guys that. Uh, so there's things that I'll, I'll do here and there. It just probably won't be all the time. I mean, maybe maybe once a week or so. Um, since I see where this is going and it's kind of like not going in the direction I wanted it to go in. So um, yeah, maybe once a week I could put something out there and you know, we'll see what happens. Um, oh, even my last video, an ASMR video I did with um, chocolate covered strawberries, it was like covered in white, white chocolate and then dipped in glitter. I thought for sure that video was going to take off. I mean, it was, to me, it was beautiful. Um, it was like a beautiful presentation and it was one of my favorite videos. And even that, I feel like hardly anybody saw it. So that kind of adds into to what I'm saying here as far as my video is getting the exposure so um yeah feel free to leave your your thoughts and comments and everything and and again i thank the people who did reach out to me to see how i was doing and seeing what i was up to but i'm fine i'm still alive i'm here uh just laying a little low for right now so anyways i do love you guys and thank you so much for those of you who understand and we will see i mean Never know what the future holds, so maybe things will turn around and, and I can get this thing going like it was before. So I am going to get ready to go to dinner, and I hope you guys have an excellent evening. Love you guys. Bye.